Good evening and thanks for tuning in. This is Jimmy Jenkins from the Jiggly News Network bringing you the latest in local, state, national, and world news. First, local pizza shop owner Juan Pablo Montoya Estevez Escobar was arrested today on drug trafficking charges. Apparently he was selling more than pepperoni out of his pizza shop at the very small cost of $130,000. The local police department bought lots and lots and lots of pizza from the pizza shop and tested it and found massive amounts of cocaine. It seems his business plan was to get everybody addicted to his pizza, jack up the prices, and then retire a millionaire. In state news, Ohio is still better than Michigan. Michigan sucks. They are the mistake on the lake. In national news, Washington, D.C. is full of dumbasses. Lots of dumbasses. Dumbasses top to bottom. Inside, outside, left, right, in between, it doesn't matter. They're all a bunch of dumbasses. In international news, we are still the laughing stock of the rest of the world. We are an embarrassment upon the planet. And with that, we're going to turn over to our man, Purple Jiggly, who is the man on the scene. If I understand this correctly, he is patiently waiting for the Independence Day Parade. Purple Jiggly, it's the end of August. It's not Independence Day. That was July the 4th. Over to you. Now you listen here, you commie son of a bitch. This is America, damn it, every day is Independence Day. But you are correct, Jimmy, I am live here on the scene of the Independence Day Parade, or at least where I hope the parade is going to be. I found the most America thing I could find, check that out, ain't that beautiful? I found the most America thing I could find, I pumped my ass down in front of it, got a road out here in front of me. And I figure if I sit here long enough, there's going to be an Independence Day parade. And I'm going to sit out here and tell either there's a parade or I max out this credit card order and pizza. I've been out here. I just about witnessed vehicular homicide. That was wild. Anyway, I'm going to sit my fat ass out here in front of this great big flag and whatever that thing is. And tell either there's an Independence Day parade or I max out this credit card order and pizza and two liters because they'll bring it right here which is wild I didn't think that would happen but uh, yeah, I'm going on two months out here but eventually like I said I got my hopes up but anyway I want to ask you something why ain't, there, why ain't there no knock knock jokes about America I'll tell you why because freedom rings bitch ding dong back to your newsroom you stuffed shirt Kami, red, Russian asset, some bitch. And now we have Broheim Dude Man in for weather. Dude, like. I'm gonna tell you about the weather today, dude. Like I woke up this morning, dude, and I looked out my window and, and, and the sky was cloudy, dude, and I didn't know what to do, right? Cause you know, the clouds are a total bummer, man. Gotta have sunshine, sweet, sweet, beautiful sunshine. But let me tell you about the weather. See, what we got going on is we got coming down from the north, from the mistake on the lake, we got a, 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 a swamp ass front. A whole lot of swamp ass coming in from the north. It's gonna be bad. Get some powder down there, whatever you need to do to keep from getting that swamp ass. And uh, for the ladies out there, we're going to get a, a, a boob sweat front coming in from the west, coming from Texas, because it's hot as hell in Texas, dude. And, and you're going to want to put something in there to keep from getting a boob sweat, because nobody likes the boob sweat, especially when you go to buy something, man. And that's where you keep your money, man. And you reach in there and you pull out your money from your boob sweat, and it's like dripping and it's nasty. And you go to hand it to people and they're like, man, dude, you keep it, bro. I don't want it, dude. Yeah, dude. It's going to be bad. But good news is on the horizon, bro. Because coming up from the south, you know what we got? 
we got some sunshine. But you gotta be careful about the sunshine because it sometimes will bring with it some stank balls. Yeah, dude. Gotta love the stank balls though in the summer. It gives you a reason to wear the shorty shorts and air them bad boys out. Now coming in from uh, the direction that California is in is uh, some more rain. Gonna be here tomorrow, next day, five days from now, I don't know. But uh, be prepared for that. Keep an umbrella in the car, cause you know, rain, total bummer, bro. Total bummer. But uh, that's it for the weather. Back to you, bro. Thanks, dudes. And over to Dick Cocksmith with the latest in sports. I don't know how many times I have to keep correcting you. It's not Cocksmith, it's Cock Smythe. My name is Dick Cock Smythe. I'm not going to do the sports. If you keep getting my name wrong, I think you do it on purpose. I think you think it's funny. But anyway, Today in sports, Muhammad, Muhammad, El Muhammad won the 4,593rd annual race across the desert. Uh, the Iranian native uh, hopped on his camel and set a new world record of crossing the desert of just 3 hours and 42 minutes. When we finally caught up with him for an interview, he had this to say. He says he didn't even know he was in a race. The young lady that he married at the age of six turned nine today, and she's ready to consummate, so he had to get his ass home to get him some. I'm not quite sure what to say to that. Uh, if we take a look at uh, national sports news, down in Florida they had the very first annual uh, Great White Shark Wrestling Competition. Um, nobody won. Everybody lost. At least a finger whole arm, some toes, and some legs. There are no winners in that competition, and uh, the founders of it say uh, they'll look at other options for next year. In other sports news, the local uh, Jiggleyville All-Star Mud Devil Water Buffalo riding team um, was out practicing today and then they got a, a visit from uh, PETA who told him that uh, racing water buffaloes was animal cruelty and they couldn't do it anymore. So now they will be called the Water Buffalo Mocking Team and they plan on going into competition telling dad jokes to water buffalo until they submit could be fun. Also we have some wood chuck chucking. If you go down to West Virginia today you will stumble into the National Wood Chuck Chucking Convention. Uh, folks from all over the country are there to take their hand to see who can toss the wood chuck the furthest. That's it for sports. Back to you.